Hi everyone, this is Stephen John from Sigari and, and this is IT training for small and medium sized businesses. Today we're going to be looking at the Office 2007 suite from Microsoft and actually going to be focusing on PowerPoint 2007. We're actually going to start by looking at how to make PowerPoint presentations more interesting. Now I think um, a lot of people understand that make a lot of PowerPoint presentations and do, do a lot of slideshows that one of the most important things is to have an engaged audience. Now, unfortunately, I think in the old versions of PowerPoint, uh, we've kind of outgrown it. And uh, a typical slideshow with just uh, a few bullets and a quick picture and a, and a header is very boring to look at now. Um, so what Microsoft have done, have created a new tool called SmartArt. What this basically does, it, it means it takes out all the hard work of having to, to be an expert at PowerPoint uh, and the, the creativity side of it and allows just the novice user to be able to make a very vibrant, nice looking slideshow in a very, very short space of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of a slide that I've created with just a basic bullet clip art and header and I'm going to show you in a very short space of time how to change it using this smart art tool um, to make it look like I, I'm an absolute expert and I spent a lot of time on this slide which I haven't. So what I'll show you, uh, I'm just going to bring up the Office, um, sorry, the, the the PowerPoint 2007 uh, slide, which is here. And as you can see, I've got the bullets down the left, uh, and then I've got obviously a picture and a little header. So we're going to start by taking the actual bullets. Now, you just click in the actual box, and you right-click, and you choose the Convert to Smart Art um, option. As you can see, it then brings up a whole load more options, uh, and this is where you can choose the, the type of um, slide you want to turn into for these bullets. Now, you do actually have more options here at the More Smart Art Graphics, but I'm just going to focus on one of these here. So if I hover over here, it says the basic cycle. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it's instantly changed that, and also we've got like a training cycle here with the arrows and the round circles, and it's actually got the LC, the bullets within there. Now, down the left-hand side, you can uh, add and change this um, to your heart's content. Um, actually, I noticed there is still a, a blank one here, which is because there's a bullet there. Now, if I just remove that, it should automatically update. As you can see, it has. So now, obviously, I can look at the top. So at the moment, we've got this star. Now, it actually gives you quite a few different stars. At the moment, we've got the basic star, but if I hover over there, it gives you uh, text style. Uh, we've got a block style, um, and there's many different options. I won't go through them all, but I'm going to stick with the basic one. Now, the next thing I want to do is I think, well, it's just in blue. I wouldn't mind giving that a bit of color, a bit more, bit more vibrant. You can do the change color. Now, as you can see, it automatically changes your highlight over it. Now, I'm quite happy with that one, with the accent colors. Okay, so already, you know, it's looking a bit more professional, you know, instantly I've made quite a few changes which would, you know, in the old version would have taken me a long time to do. So now I think, well, it's just quite plain looking still, so I want to look at maybe trying to, to, to flash it up a bit now with these options on, on the right. So I think I'll give it this style here, which looks like the polished one, yeah, which it is. If I click on there, instantly changes. Just going to move that down a bit, move the pitch down. Okay, now I want to probably try and change the background uh, to make it sort of blend in more with this. I don't think just a white background looks very interesting. So if I click on the design, now I've got all the different options along here. And I'm just going to highlight over one of them. As you can see, it's instantly changed. In fact, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so I'll click on there. Okay, so as you see, now it's applied it to my actual slide. Now I've got my picture. So if I double click on that, uh, and now again, we've got all the different options here. Um, and I think I'll have a little look at that one. I quite like that. So we've also got like a reflection of the actual picture. So I'll click on there. Okay. Um, now we've actually got the header. Still looking a little bit boring there. So I can right click on here, convert to Smart Art, and then I can choose what I'm going to do is the vertical bullet list. Left click on there. As you can see, it's instantly changed this, so I want to probably make that look a little bit different, maybe stand out a little bit more. That's better. So now we've got like a polished look on that. I think it goes obviously with the, um, the bullets. Okay, there you go. As you can see, that probably took me um, maybe a minute to do, but obviously if I wasn't talking, you know, this probably take me about 30, 40 seconds to do. As you see, I think it looks quite professional. Um, it's taken me not a long time to do, and there was little or no skill involved. 
Okay, what I'm going to show you next, I'm just going to give you a few more demonstrations of um, some before and after, just so you've got a better idea uh, of what you can actually do with PowerPoint, and just show you how easy it can make your life. And if you do do a lot of PowerPoint presentations, I mean, this is just going to save you hours and hours. Okay, right, I'm just going to start off with the first one. Um, first slide I'm going to show is the managed services slide. Um, looks very similar to the one in the demonstration. We've got a bullet list, a uh, header, and a picture. We just want to show you the different effects you can use with the Smart Art. We've, for this, we've used a, a nice orange background. Uh, we've used the Smart Art here for the bullet list, which is an arrow effect. And then we've put a nice board around the actual picture and enlarged it. Okay, this slide we've used um, uh, two bullet lists and we've added two pictures. And we just want to show you the different effect you can use for Smart Art for this type of slide. As you can see, it uh, looks very professional. Just no more real time um, taken on it, about 30 seconds. Uh, we've got two pyramid effects for this one uh, and then two bullet lists going down the side. And then we've done like a shadow effect on the actual picture. Okay, the last one we're going to show you. Uh, we created this one for you to show you a very unprofessional looking slide. Something you'd think if you saw it, you'd have to jazz it up and uh, on maybe the older version you'd think it's also going to take you quite a while, while to do. Um, it's just not the case with, uh, with PowerPoint 2007. Um, it's actually the same amount of time. We took about 30 or 40 seconds, we've jazzed it up. Looks about a million times better. I mean, if you do a lot of presentations, you know, you'd probably be happy with something like this. You know, it's going to engage your customers, um, and it's going to look very professional. Okay, thank you for listening. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and you've learned a lot out of it. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you next month.